Hey, good morning. This is Dan with Putts Ponds and Gardens, and today we are here in our hometown of Chesterfield, Michigan. And we're going to be doing a commercial Honda installation at the entranceway to a brand new restaurant that's going in. Now, this restaurant is slated to open with, before the end of the month, so we've got about 15 days to get this thing wrapped up. Really shouldn't take that long because it's only a 10 by 12. So let me turn the camera around. I'll, let me show you the area that we're going to be doing our work in and have a lot of fun. So this is the entranceway. This is situated kind of in the heart of Chesterfield. This area here was never developed from the last restaurant that was here. So what we're going to do is going to blow this wall apart right here in front. But up on top, we're going to put a 10 by 12 pond. We're going to have a cascading waterfall and stream coming down here. We're going to have another waterfall on this project because this will be a negative edge pond so right here we're going to take this wall apart we're going to have another waterfall right here that's going to go down into a hidden basin so that will be our skimmer for this project so it's a negative edge intake bay skimmer and leaves whatnot will be up in the upper pond come down no standing water down here all the water in this area will be below ground so stay tuned watch our progress on this project and we're gonna have some fun we're excited we hope you are too So we're here on day number two. Yesterday we got a little bit too much rain. Brian and Derek are working hard on getting the final excavation of the two foot depth pond to be 10 foot by 12 foot pond. Water lily shelf over here. We'll not only have the biological filtration up on top, but we'll have the mechanical filtration on the bottom with a negative edge right here. Negative edge, what it'll look like to the average person, there'll be a pondless waterfall. Although the pond is actually up on top, so there won't be a traditional skimmer on this one. They'll have a low edge right here. So once the water levels up, get it up and running, it'll flow down this waterfall as well. Once it does that, um, the water goes down into a hidden basin, goes all the way around, and then up into our biological filter there. So there won't be a basket to empty, but any debris that's on the surface of this pond will come down and get trapped just on a bed of uh, gravel right here. What we wanted to do was showcase our skills and being able to provide not only upper waterfalls but lower waterfalls as well. So this is going to be the perfect setting for this restaurant. The guests come right up into this entranceway here and what better place to see this waterfall. Anybody dining outside or having a cocktail at night will be able to look across and see waterfalls. It just doesn't get any better than that. So I want to give you an update on what's going on here. We've got the intake bay um, carved out. Brian's down there in the hole. Um, what he's doing is he's, we're going to put the, uh, the vault, goes in the center here. We're going to take these aqua blocks. Those go in here as well. Uh, what I really want to show you is we've carved out for the waterfalls here. So that first drop right there is going to dictate the level inside our pond, the water level. 
water level is going to be about three inches lower than the surrounding area and that, but right here it's going to overflow cascade down some serious drops but right here this drop is going to be below our grade on the side so it's almost like an underground waterfall so to speak so as you're walking up to this site here right up the front door boom awesome looking waterfalls here waterfalls back in the distance it's gonna have some serious flow this is really gonna be a showcase for the front of this entranceway of this restaurant stay tuned and we got to get back to work all right so we're back here in Chesterfield Michigan our hometown we're at the feast restaurant we're getting started rocking in the pond and it rained pretty much all morning but didn't stop us we've got a fish cave down here Derek has masterfully camouflaged it so it might be hard to tell that that's actually a fish cave right now Derek's putting in a six watt LED aquascape light those are pretty cool because they give you the nighttime experience too so this restaurant will be open during the evening hours so we want to highlight this for the uh, for the guests that come to this restaurant so we've got a six watt light there we're gonna do a six watt light down here in our intake bay highlighting our waterfalls we'll do some one watt lights over and through here now when those lights hit the waterfalls this whole side of the building is going to be illuminated be like little twinkling lights so this is dual wall pvc they call it dual wall because it's dual wall so what they typically use this for is for drainage could use it for some pump crock but we use it for fish caves this is two foot in diameter what we do is we cut it in half we put a piece of underlayment down to protect the liner from the the sharp edge edges because we're going to be stacking rocks on top of that but this is really strong I'm standing on it it's not bowing out or anything that's one of the reasons why we use dual wall so that makes a perfect fish cave this is two foot in length and we've used it for years it's just nice it's easy to camouflage and very sturdy What you doing? Oh, you know, light work. Light work? Yeah, it's light work. Ha, 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 ha. Get it? Light work. So what Derek's doing is he's fishing the wiring for our low voltage lighting through a piece of poly pipe. So that way, in case anything ever happens to these lights, we just attach a string to one end, pull it through, and then fish it back through. Just like an electrician would if he's doing... Um, electrical work inside the walls all right so let me run through what we've got done so far obviously you can see the liners in the underlayments in everything's cut we've got our spillway here for our negative edge we're gonna come down through a couple boulders in through here our intake bay here is done so we've got it all lined with boulders we'll have waterfalls coming down from right here coming down you can see we've got one set up here another one set up down here below grade our pump is in we'll camouflage that up we've got our piping run all the way back around we're waiting for an electrician to run some power out here to us um, tomorrow we'll have this pond all rocked in and then um, I think we'll take the final day we'll set our biofalls and take some time making a really nice waterfall for this project because this is really going to stand out in the public eye when they come here and visit this so this is uh what we've got done so far any questions leave them in the comments below and you know we'll answer them stay tuned we're gonna get rocking on this thing in a couple minutes all right so we're here on the final day of the installation here at the feast restaurant in chesterfield michigan so if you can hear that that's water flowing in the background let me turn this camera around let me show you what an awesome job the guys did boom right at the entranceway dual waterfalls waterfalls in the front foreground bringing that 
action right to the people that enter right in here to the building. Got waterfalls way in the background to give you a little depth perception. I did some plantings, Japanese maples, some Hinoki cypress, some holly. Since there's no gutters on the building, we ended up doing a little splash pad here so we don't wash out any of the soil right there. Dwarf Alberta spruce, some Andorra junipers along here. Now those are meant to just, as they grow, creep down over these rocks here just to give the soft look. We've got a bird's nest spruce here in the corner. We want that one just to fill in. And of course, this is our basin here. Next season, we'll do a couple aquatic plants here just to soften that stream. We've got some Japanese forest grass in the forefront. So I wanted a little mass grouping right there just to give that little yellow element. Here's some little bunny landscape grasses here. A globe blue spruce. So right up front here, we got some carpet juniper that are just gonna fill in this whole area. A couple extra holly. Pop them in there. We've got our electrical. Now this is a Himalayan birch here. I never liked the fact that the entranceway here and the entranceway here for the for the services to come in here right in front so what I did is I went with some yellow arbs here so I want those to grow up just below the height of the uh, fence there but I want them to be a screen so we don't see that fence the Himalayan birch it's not made to be a dense tree um, it's gonna top out about 12 feet tall so the power lines up above are not going to be an issue there it's not a dense tree it's just made to be a um, multi-stem add that little element of white in there as the uh, bark turns white in the spring so there's a gold thread cypress right there and of course the japanese maple on top now as things fill in they're going to help mature this water feature water in the pond is still a little bit cloudy we haven't introduced any fish to this yet. I don't know if we're going to this year. The lights came on last night. They look pretty cool. Um, we've got the spillover right here. And that's it. Let us know in the comments below what you think about this project, um, how it fits in this application for this commercial setting. Is there a better way to greet guests that come into a restaurant than have your own water feature? All right, check us out next time and Make it a great day.